Welcome back, Brick Maniacs, to the return of the sit rep. It's back. It's back. Yes, the weekly sit rep, anyways. Um, so we, you know, we still had the sit rep with the monthly thing, but now we're going to do it weekly, and uh, that'll be awesome. And then we'll have our designer's desk videos on Thursday, and those will be the two weekly videos you can expect from Brick Mania, along with other fun stuff. Right so on. that's that's just how streamlining be. some things. Yeah. yeah, nothing wrong with that. Cool. Keep it nice and concise. Mm -hmm. So plus, now we get to show off the new releases yeah. earlier in the week. However, that does not mean that you can buy them, Landon. They're no, you can't buy them cool. yet, but let's go over them, right? Yeah, so yeah. yeah. So we got lots of cool stuff. Let's, first of all, though, let's touch on the restocks, touch. because all three of these kits, touch, it's their last batch. What? Yeah. Ever? Ever. Ever. Mm -hmm. it, is the, it is the last batch of all three works. of these kits. So, and actually, if you've been paying, paying attention to Cody's Instagram, you know that he's already got a redesigned version of this pretty much ready to go. But yeah, so that's the Messerschmitt uh, Messer Schmidt BF-109. <laughs> Check out this really awesome uh, custom printing on the side here mm -hmm. uh, with that kind of simulated spray paint camo. Um, looks really slick. Great use of that piece. Yeah, this is this is the one of those kits that's almost like blurring the lines between like a model and a, well it is a model obviously, but like one of those photorealistic models. Sure, right. And a Lego kit. So that's cool. Yeah, that thing that thing looks awesome. So yeah, and I like it comes uh, comes with a cool mini fig. So yeah. and I'm assuming with the new Mesher Schmidt that they're going to have a new figure or are you going to I think so. I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. Okay, fair enough. Not wow, sure thanks gotta, for the gotta, insider gotta, information. I got to talk to Cody. Darn it. <laughs> That's fair enough. Collaboration. Been, been over the holidays, Collab. so that makes sense. Um, okay, yeah, so this this one's uh, in its in its final run here. So is the Panzer 38T, uh, which is Dan's early war Panzer tank. Wow, you just you drove them over their own commander and then go? over several allied soldiers and a sapper. What's the, what do we got going on? That is the Panzer 38T. Yeah. This is its its final batch. This is an awesome little kit. Very, very classic Brick Mania look. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's definitely one to get. I like the uh, camouflage Sweet. pattern on that. It's mm -hmm. uh, not pretty, not very common for uh, Brick Mania kits. Mm -hmm. And then they have, I want to say it's the in Invasion of Poland and France, two different sticker sets with this one. Cool. So very, very, very cool kit, great price point, nice little tank, built like a tank too. It's like super solid, which is super awesome. Solid. And then the Stuka, which is awesome. That is also in its final batch, Ooh. JU87 G2. Got that Stuka. really, you know, iconic profile there. Mm -hmm. Or not profile, top view, right? Profile, top view. It looks cool. It looks I cool. Agree. That's what I was trying to say. Mm -hmm. Giant, giant cannons in the bottom. That's one. This is one of those kits too that, like, when you pick up the box, have it in the box, you just can't like tell how big it is until you've put it together. I mean, like, look at that. <laughs> that, is, that is a that is a big plane. A big plane. The flying tank. Some serious firepower on yes. that thing, but not not quick whatsoever, that's for sure. So, but those cannons look sweet. Looks like something futuristic. Um, okay, so then we also have, uh, so those, once again, those three are in their last batches. Yes. Um, but they are back now on BrickMania.com, so get them while they last before they either return as redesigns or do not return whatsoever. Uh, and then we got a bunch of minifigs, so we can go over those. We have the Russian Sapper. The okay, yeah, this one was hugely yeah. popular. Check out that texture printing. I think that initial batches went really quick so and yeah. you got a little papa shot and yeah yeah i'll put that in his hand um, perfect caliber papa shot's returned yes. and so get that it's that's cool. a, that's a perfect setup right there yes yeah there you go what's next uh next is the world war ii u.s army ranger I believe that this one yep yes oops hello so that would be the Point Do Hawk mm -hmm. Rangers. And so they had a little bit of unique gear on at the time, so yeah. Very, very cool figure. That one came out around the time of the uh, 101st Airborne one mm -hmm. as well. Those were both awesome D-Day figures. Yeah. Uh, after that, we have the World War II Panzer Crewman. Yes, here we go. Yeah, nice simple figure, but gets the job done. Mm-hmm. And then the uh, World War II US BAR gunner. Here we go. And, and then I'm also back, is the perfect caliber BAR, yes. which we'll put up on the screen now. Bing. Yes, we don't have one in our hands right now because they're probably printing it mm -hmm. actually as we speak. Uh, but that would be obviously a perfect combination for this. The BAR with the BAR gunner. Go Who would figure, have thought that yeah. those two would go together? <laughs> also, we have a uh, bunch of uh, Brick Arms M1 Steel Pot helmets uh, back online right now, just kind of a, a variety of them. So go check those out and, and scoop up the ones that you want. Okay, so now we can switch over to the, the new releases. Do you want to start with the, uh, the, mini, the figure. mini figure of the month? Sure, yeah. sure. Um, oh, what is the official title that we have for this guy? Uh, this is the Battle World of the War II. Battle of the Bulge II. U.S. Rifleman. Yes, Battle of the Bulge U.S. Rifleman. 
um, and he is decked out in kind of that, it's that great coat. Uh, they brought that back. Uh, it, they weren't really expecting to use that necessarily uh, in combat, but a shortage of winter supplies, uh, they ended up busting this out and you, it saw use on the front line. Hmm. So it's more of like a formal coat, a big wool coat, but um, they ended up using it in combat. Um, so it's kind of a unique uniform there. Uh, we're doing a lot of cool things on this figure for the first time. Um, shown here uh, with uh, overmolded um, Garand. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, just pick one of those up. That would go, go really well with this figure that matches the ammo pouches. Um, but yeah, there'll be a full review on this guy coming up uh, down the road. Yeah, sure. So. We'll, we'll, we'll do a deeper dive on him. But yeah. that's the minifigure of the month. So obviously, if you scooped up the uh, German Battle of the Bulge German Rifleman, now you have the, the opposite side, the mm -hmm. Allies and the, and the Axes. So that's awesome. Well done, as always. We'll dive a little deeper on the minifig review. Okay. <coughs> Also new, we're, we're building. 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 Are you saying mine's... The, I, I mine know, I realized that next? after I said that. I was like, oh man, you're going to offend him. <gasps> he said something. Got to be careful. Okay, so this is the... Sweet turntable. Yeah, right. I the, like the little... Not really anchored down. Yeah, okay. so this is the World War II French uh, tank crew. Yeah. These are two of them here, and this is this is the rest of the ones you get. So mm -hmm. we're working our way through... Uh, Covering all our bases. Through all those, yeah. Making sure that there's a nice variety available. So that is... Currently on Brickmania.com. And then finally, the larger release of the week is the VAB 6x6 APC UN. So this is a, this is a sweet little kit here. Yeah. You can have one and I can have Ooh. one. Uh, this, kind of, this is cool. It's got uh, different sticker packs. Uh, there's, I believe, four different variants of that uh, UN uh, insignia on the side. <clears throat> and you, it's pretty common to see them painted or decaled completely different uh, in the field. So I think it's just field painting a UN insignia. So. Mm -hmm. Gave you some variety with that. Uh, same thing with the, it comes with a minifigure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, with that really cool UN blue helmet. Which is, is actually available for standalone purchase as well. Oh, the helmet is, yes. Yeah, so yes. if you want one of those, go ahead and, and get it separate, or if you're going to build yeah. up a couple of guys. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, that. it's all good, man. Uh, we did some unique things for this helmet as well. Um, it's There's subtle different distressing and a little bit different uh, font choice um, between the helmets. So uh, when you see photographs of uh, UN troops, usually their helmets are really, really inconsistent. So just they're, I mean, they're, they're literally hand painting them in some instances. Sure. So, it's, it's, it's kind of interesting to see all the variety there. So a little subtle variation on all the helmets. Very cool. Two, two really cool figures these mm -hmm. past couple of weeks. The T-55 tanker was awesome, and this guy looks really cool yeah. as well. So, yeah, and this, cool. is a, this is a really cool kit. I know it's, it's not much different than the one we originally released way back when, whatever, but it's, it's back now, and everything opens. Look at that. I mean, you know, everything moves. There's no shortage of hatches or... Yeah, this is, this is uh, when I first started working here, this is one of the earlier kits that, um, you know, I helped out with, I guess, like photographing and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, so this is a relaunch of it, but um, I always thought that this was a cool kit. Uh, obviously super playable. Um, you can take the whole entire... Yeah, look off. at that. I mean, this is like, the, and, and it's super solid, so yeah. it's like, it's got to be one of our most, most like playable kits. And yeah. for the size, it is a great price mm -hmm. point. I mean, that white Lego really, really helps out. Cool. Cool. <laughs> so, and it looks awesome, and yeah, awesome. It would go really well in, um, obviously, sort of like a 93 Mogadishu scenario, or uh, I always thought it'd be cool in like a post-apocalypse kind of thing, because it's always the UN that like gets in trouble. It seems yeah, like, right. It's like a trope of, of a apocalypse movie. First one to, to, yeah. to go down to the zombies, yeah, yep. that is kind of true, especially <laughs> when you're like, oh, we're, nothing could take us down, we're gonna be just fine, we've got a APC. No. Nope. nope. And you get tipped over and yep. you're going to be in trouble. Okay, well, yeah, so that is everything that is new this week on Brickmania.com. Um, so we've also, uh, as you guys know, the, the monthly sit rep will not be a, a thing anymore. And so I know that that's caused some concerns with people not being able to look ahead and plan for from some of the bigger releases that are coming up that next month. So we do have Dan's approval to show off some oh. upcoming kids Ooh, what do we got? in this sit rep. So let's take a look at some cool stuff. First, we have. This is Cody's build, I want to say. Yep. This is the Chaffee? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Really reworked turret on that bad boy. Obviously, we'll be going over these kits fully in depth down the road, mm -hmm. um, but this is just, again, a, a little quick look at all of them. So. Yeah, so that one is actually, uh, I think, up next week. So not, not a super huge look ahead, but at the same time, you can kind of get a, a sneak peek on, at what's coming up. Mm -hmm. um, following that is the Jag Tiger, which we showed off with Cody when he showed off the King Tiger. Sure. So we're going to jump a week after that. That's the around the end of January. And this is the Antos. I have been waiting for this for a long time. And the Mutt. 
which the mutt will be happy for people who have been like, bring back the Jeep. Well, we've got a mutt now, so. Got a mutt. And it looks awesome. Gotta line up all these recoilless rifles here. Mm -hmm. I'm working on the, I'm actually working on the stickers for this kit as we speak. Uh, this is just a prototype. That nine on the front is a little bit oversized. So I'm, I'm tweaking the size of that a little bit. Okay. Um, but it's just a fun little kit. I mean, look at that thing. That's mm -hmm. like, looks like something out of Star Wars, you know? <laughs> yeah, those uh, uh, like 3D printed thing. breaches and then the spotter rifles look unbelievable. Yeah, so some very very cool. The kit as well as the actual model it's based off of it are unlike anything. Mm -hmm. so. And they say doesn't Antos mean you mean thing? The thing. The thing. Roughly, yeah. Which the thing. aptly named. <laughs> this, this is a thing. It just Dan. Remember Dan was uh, telling us about how so the loader. Like, yeah, had like, to be get like out. crouched down in the back, and then when he needed to reload, he'd literally have to jump out. Get out. <laughs> just re like, okay, so there are, you know, whenever you think that you're you're having a bad day at work, just remember you could you could have had that have guy's job. The loader of the Antos. You could have been the Antos loader. So that'll those two will be up uh, near the end of January. So that's a little look ahead for everyone. Um, other than that, I think that is everything we have to cover. Uh, remember to get into our stores for uh, uh, New Year's Day, thirty percent off employee mm -hmm. pricing, plus a whole bunch of other fun winter break stuff going on. Um, other than that, yeah. I think we are good. Thank you very much for watching. The, the sit reps back. Ooh.